support the process. That's what Morrissey says. Much like that. Yeah. Mm, interesting. But that's a bit silly, I think, having a go at the fans because they're we're just like clinging on for dear life, just like the rest <laughs> of you. It's like we're trying to like something, you know, despite their just best efforts to ruin it. I think we need to re- remain optimistic and wait and see what this new series has got in store. Mm. Maybe it's going to have great housemates. Mm. Maybe it's going to have a really good new twist, or maybe it's not going to have many twists at all. Maybe pigs might fly. Oh, Raph was going about the live feed. Uh, that's what oh, Raph was yeah, maybe we'll have live feed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, we move on to Kwame's question. Yeah, Go that's on. what I was going to say. Yeah, okay, I've out, actually yeah. got the tweet. Well, here. it links into quite well with what we're talking about. Hey yeah. guys, says Kwame. On the next hey BB on Blast, could you explain what Big Brother's Little Brother was and how it differs from BB Bots, mm-hmm. and just your overall thoughts on the rumours of bots ending and stuff like that? <laughs> Upside down smiley face. Hashtag BB UK. I emoji. Mm-hmm. I, I sound comma, like Tom, Tom Reed Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag BBUK <laughs> upside down eye emoji. <laughs> I wish you guys had seen Gaz's face when he did that. <laughs> I saw that Tom Reed Wilson in the part once. So lovely like arm. I like him. Well, he's gone now. No more bots for him. <laughs> um, what is the deal? Go on, you explain because you're better with the memory of think these things. I <laughs> the mean, memory obviously, of I, BB gone by. I used to watch it every day, obviously. So, Big Brother's Little Brother started in the second series. It was presented by Dem O'Leary, who's now presenter of X Factor. He's like rise up in the reality TV ranks. Risen. risen. Um, <laughs> he, is, he has risen. <laughs> he has risen. <laughs> he's a nice guy, actually. And basically, it was like. Hey. Back in that first few series, they had guests that were like, they're girls allowed on there mm. talking about it. I know they were like new mm. at the time, but like mm. they used to get celebrity guests in to talk they about They used to have, sometimes have like quite famous yeah, people. Yeah, you'd be like, people. what? Yeah. I, I don't know, Idris Elba I think or something. They had Ricky Gervais talking about <laughs> yeah, it one day. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I think he was. Because mm-hmm. he's a big, big brother fan. Um, so it was on about like 6 pm, like before, <laughs> before dinner. Oh, and they would tell you what was coming up. In the night show, wouldn't they? Yeah, they give you little teasers. Yeah, they give you teasers. Yeah. They give you like BBLB news was on mm. it, which we still get in box. But it would be different stuff as well to what you get. It wouldn't be just the same old shit that they would show you on There's a lot of behind the yeah. scenes kind of things. Like you, they go into the gallery or they like mm. show the, you the task team putting the tasks together. Mm. And they'd have like silly segments like the experimenter who like predicted oh, yeah. who would well, go. She, I think she used to be on box as well. Though. Oh, really? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, yeah. shit. There was like, like, like that doctor dance, but like better yeah. than that. And they used to have the. Do you remember they had this one year where um, they always had a musical person who was like performing yeah, the theme Yeah, I, I tune. was thinking that as well. Yeah, and it was just funny because it was mm. weird. Some guy was like performing it and with a hose pipe and a, <laughs> and a um, funnel on the end, and Dermot was just trying to like listen to the theme, <laughs> like bob along to the theme yeah. tune, but he wasn't getting it. It's oh, so dear. good. <laughs> But did they used to do the psych stuff on Little Brother? I know they had bit on the psych, but that was later. That was later, so I think yeah. that was part of that show back in the day. I was trying to think of all the spin-off shows there's been. It's like been bit on the big psych, mouth. Big Mouth. What was those other Big Mouth ones as well? Like of that slot before Bots. Because there was one that... Or, big what? Brother's Big Brain. Yes. There was All Psychology. Yes. And Diary, because, diary Room Uncut. Ah, Diary Room Uncut. Yeah, that was is good. really good. That was only Diary Room for the yeah. week. That is so. You, and and you, you remember, see so many funny bits. Do you remember Big Brother Reveals More? No. During Big Brother 2, there was another show where mm. you'd get extra footage from the week that you hadn't seen on like a Saturday. Honestly, you, we used to have quad cam live feed on Big Brother on the TV where you'd press the red button. Yeah. And I, I've said this before, but I just remember thinking the future, like, of Big Brother, they, it's got catnip in it. Oh, I see. <laughs> the future of Big Brother, like, I could only imagine what they could do if they had that back in the day. You could literally and, follow a housemate around. And instead, they did nothing. And they yeah. went backwards and went, oh, have a tweet. And now you don't even get a <laughs> tweet. You don't, you don't even get a tweet. You don't Live anymore on Twitter. Twitter. It's pathetic. The f- potential for the programme is still huge, but they just don't bother, and it just especially with me Twitter off. because you know, like quite often now, when I access Twitter in a day, in the corner is like the news live, like yeah. Sky News just rolled in live. You could just embed Big Brother Live into Twitter if they had big if they had live feed on all day every day. 
Big Brother be would be trend. So it would be trending. Like imagine on a quiet Tuesday afternoon and an argument kicks off in the house. It would be trending. Yeah, of course, what else are they talk about? So why are they? Why, like, why are we talking about this? Like remember when? <laughs> and I've seen this like on documentaries, like <laughs> like in subsequent times after uh, like time like years gone by. Blah blah. blah I don't know what I'm saying, but. Remember when it all kicked off in Nasty Nick and he had live feed? And yeah. It was like hardly anyone could access it then because yeah. it was fucking dial up. But I remember <laughs> footage from like inside the Sun office where all the journalists mm. had gathered around yeah. to watch it because they want to know what's going mm. on. You don't have, we don't have those moments anymore. That's very sad. Anyway. But are you are you sad about losing bit on the side? V V V V V V V V bucks. I think it would be. It's shit. I think it would. Well, actually, they schedule it too late at the moment anyway, which makes it a problem to watch. Just a but bit. But I think it would be a loss to lose the late night talk show because basically what BB Bots is is a mashup of Big Mouth and BBLB, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But like, there's still place for the tea time show and the nighttime talk yeah. show because where's the, the like language going to come in? Yeah, and, and also and the sexual innuendos. And also, if something big kicks off in the house. It's for, it's good to talk about it straight off. Mind you, it's so sanitised and pointless to what they talk about. Is it good? It's nothing. Yeah, and also, it's not actually live right after the show now no. either, so it's not actually reaction. No. But, I don't know, I you can't get better than Big Brother 7, BB... Um, Big Brother's Big Mouth presented by um, Russell Brand. Yeah, honestly, that was is so good. To think that we had Russell Brand doing that, it was so fucking good. But it I hated so Russell Brand good. in his first series. I I hated Russell Brand when he used to be on MTV, and then I realised he was absolutely genius. <laughs> and then I still love Russell Brand now. But you like, know when it first started on yeah. Big, in Big Brother Five, yeah, they sat him behind a desk, and it wasn't like that's before he even had an image. He used to just wear yeah. t-shirts and jeans. Yeah. Like, he didn't even have this, this like rock star image. <laughs> but that wasn't any good for him. Like he needed no. to be out and prancing around. Yeah, prancing around. He's so good. He's so good. It that and to, I said that was iconic on Twitter. That actually was iconic. Russell yeah, Brand doing Big Mouth, and he watched the show as well. And I remember him talking in his autobiography about watching the tapes of this thing happening and that thing I think it was fight night he was talking about oh, really? when he was watching the tapes of like what actually happened and how exciting it was and that's yeah. fucking Russell Brand talking about that do you know what I mean if they could get Russell Brand back on that show that would be a fucking oh imagine that would be incredible has Russell Brand's star fallen enough that he could go back on it yeah. oh he does a, a radio X radio show yeah oh since then um, what was it Saxgate yeah yeah oh, God. claw back from that <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, uh, that's never going to happen either. I think Dermot O'Leary and Russell Brand have both posted. They've moved further they've moved on. on. And Davina. Davina. Everyone goes on about Davina. I'm not bothered about Davina. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not bothered. I love Davina and I, I still love Davina. I like now her. Listen. She's good now on, listen. She's good on street. <laughs> every interview. She's re- now listen. <laughs> she's really good on street <laughs> street mate back in the day. We've been watching some of those recently. She's really good. Anyway. I feel a little bit for Davina though because her TV presenting career. Oh, where, she's done untold. But where is it now? Like, I mean, she was the front woman of Big Brother, the yeah. biggest show in the yeah, country. Yeah, but she did it for years and years and years. She probably got fed up with it. And now she's doing the jump. Who watches that? No one, but who watches Big Brother? No can't. Fair. Just us idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about Canada yet? Or is yeah. there any more talking points? Um, oh, yeah, I've got a talking point about Big Brother Canada. Hang on a minute. Let us know what you think. Should BBLB return? Should Ryland present it? Should it be someone else? Or I should think... Ryland be kept for the evening show where he's more able to like be rude? I think and we sexy. just need to see what it's like and see what happens. But yeah, I'd be interested to know people's thoughts. I don't want rid of Ryland, that's for sure. He, I, he's I love Ryland. a good part of this presenting team. I love I always liked Ryland. I went off him for about maybe a year. But I didn't go badly off him. I just thought he was a bit fake ass for a while, like Spidey did with him. But now I realise he's he's real. He's real. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I like him. Um, so my other talking points about Canada. Yeah. Um, do you think the jury is really small because of the budget? Is it a small jury? Yeah, so how many there's, will that, will end, there's have nine. Have you done the math? The yeah, math I haven't, this. but I've listened to a podcast that does math. Normally there's nine jurors. Yeah, now there's only seven. Oh, save on the so bills. So it's two weeks less than having to rent out jury house, uh, isn't it? rent that cottage. Think about it. And... I thought that was Arissa's back garden. That was just her shed. <laughs> <laughs> and 
the fact that there's no titles is that just cheaper where well? are the titles Arissa can you please address this for us we're Arissa, calling out we're you calling run the out show people. don't you who runs the show Arissa who Even runs alone, the show don't Arissa. be Brent what? don't be Brent Voldemort it's no nothing to do with Arissa Arissa's very silent this series and I'd like her to reach out and well, explain to us why there's no titles and if very and if we can't tell them I'll be tired of answering people's <laughs> fucking inane questions if we can't tell the listeners just tell us oh <laughs> uh, yeah just tell us <laughs> <laughs> She's probably busy. What? Doing what? Oh, she's got a show to present. <laughs> <laughs> so should we talk about the episode? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's have you do got it. any notes? Um, or... Yeah, I have. Let me see. So it's from the eviction episode. Who was up? I forgot. Was it Johnny Ryan and Ryan? And Johnny. I could not believe that Ryan actually went. Did you? Because remember, I was so pleased. The, yeah, but remember the last one we watched with Johnny with He's his little with his helmet on. Oh yeah, yeah, doing that veto comp, and then he lost that veto comp with the cannons. Yeah, and we were like taking the He's piss the out of him. We were like, "He's done." Yeah, we, we were, yeah, yeah. We did like, seem like he, he was is done. done. And then he fucking talked his way back into being. Did he talk his way, or did did other people who wanted him to stay these talk are the their clips way. that Laurie sent me that I watched he did do a lot of talking but a lot of other people did too but yeah Alejandra was involved I Everyone think she was, was a big part involved. of it and but he was the main driving force I couldn't believe when Paris 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 mm. Paris mm. Um, didn't save Ryan mm. because she was right up Ryan's ass. God knows why no I don't really know why either but it's disgusting oh my leg hurts um <laughs> But I was so pleased that Ryan actually went at last. Finally. Thank God. See you later. I wonder if Canada's sad because they saved him. Or was that just to spite no, Dana? No, oh, because I've been listening to it about this. Yeah. Apparently it was all just from the edit on that one night show where they showed where Ryan moping upset. about. Fuck, is Canada Apparently, that soft? I know, yeah. Canada, <laughs> toughen up. Apparently, Tonight. Apparently, <laughs> Tonight. Apparently it was all just from that. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I know, pity, Do you know pity what? party. Do you know what was incredible about that? What? Was that he laid in that bed and he mm. went, Canada, if yeah. there's anything you can yeah. do for me, I'd be really grateful. Yeah. And then they all got it on the did. fucking website. Vote, 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 vote. You fools. <laughs> um, so the eviction. Arissa had a glittery dress on. She's wearing silver. I liked it. Looked I like a silver nice. top. Very Diana Ross again. <laughs> and... She was wearing silver and talking about silver linings, I noticed. Oh, oh the annou- I've got something the announcer guy said here. Yeah. He said, Kayla's boy toy. <laughs> <laughs> boy toy. Can't remember what else he said, though. Um, jo- the next thing I've got is Johnny saying, I will rise from the dead and the Johnny zombie apocalypse is happening. And it did happen. It did. So, was it a zombie apocalypse? Mm. Or That's what he said. The zombies come the after. Undead. They come after the apocalypse, yeah. don't they? It's got that the wrong way around. It's like Dead Set. <laughs> we, we haven't seen Dead Set. We were going to podcast that next Halloween. Someone told me to watch Fear the Walking Dead. That it was good. I don't watch the Walking Dead. So I don't uh, know anything about it. Forget it. Uh, okay. Oh, Ryan said, "Let the smear campaign begin." Do you agree with the smear campaign? What against Ryan? Yeah. No. No. I do. I agree with him. He was going to have a smear campaign. Oh. What, was he going to smear Johnny? Yeah. Was he going to smear on him? <laughs> Slot. <laughs> I put Johnny is full of metaphors, but where's his game? Well, he proved me wrong. Um, did you like when Paris and Will were talking game against that, uh, fur, yeah, that they furry kept door? Oh, yeah, they looking by the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, I can imagine me and you doing that. <laughs> like, oh, just check in. Mm, just check in again two minutes later. I like that furry door, it's nice. I do too, actually. So Will goes... I'm leaning towards sending Johnny home. <laughs> Johnny did dirty last week. <laughs> <laughs> and then Paris said, yeah. Did me dirty. And then Paris said, yeah, me too. This is the same episode that they fucking saved him. Mad. I mean, I know it wasn't the same day probably, but... No. Um, oh, Johnny said he feels like he's got the play. Mm. Oh, yeah, because he was walking around. Johnny's oh, got, no one would look at him. Johnny's got funny arms, do you think? He's got funny he's everything. He's got very long arms, like a... Like, like a, Woody. Like a bat, yeah. Like a bat? A bat's ain't got long arms. <laughs> got long wings. Only a little, like... I don't know, hands. there's something funny about him. He's like always he's a like... He's like Gollum. Mm, yes, he's always like this. Mm. Yeah, and he did do that, like, crawling around <laughs> the crypt thing. Mm. <laughs> With that blanket on. <laughs> <laughs> Ali said she wanted to keep Johnny and take a shot at Dayla, so it was her that started it, according to this. Yeah, they were like, Johnny will help us take a, take that shot. Mm. And then Ryan was talking to Paris, or have you got more on that? Playing pool with her. Oh, uh, really, the metaphor. <laughs> pool is like Big Brother. 
I must have told you this before. I bet Ryan's told every fucking story he's ever told before. Yeah, he's I like, I must have told you this before. I must have told you this it's before. It's like my, my wisdom that I'm, yeah. impart- I'm <laughs> bringing, imparting upon these house guests. He said, are you ready to have your mind blown? Oh, for fuck's sake. And I didn't even write down what he said. It was so boring. <laughs> um, I got the whole thing.